So, in this video, we're going to be focusing on painting the um, heat exchanger uh, that was really, really rusty. So, I don't have any actual footage in this collection that shows the rust, but um, uh, before I painted it, it looked like this. And then I put some primer on and paint on and so on. And in the end, it looked like this. And, uh, and after I had assembled everything, it finally looked like this. This is a um, piece of the heat exchanger. It's a bottom part that sits underneath the exhaust manifold and uh, there was uh, quite a bit of rust in this area, surface rust. Clean that off using a drill bit and, um, and um, yeah, just rubbing it off. And um, once all the rust was removed, I put two coats of this stuff on it. So now it looks like this. Now it's uh, now it's time for paint. So I'm gonna pick up a small canister of paint and I'm gonna put a coat of paint on it and uh, perhaps a second coat tomorrow. So here we have the Yamaha heat exchanger and it is ready for paint. So I've cleaned the surfaces, I've taken off the majority of the rust so the surfaces are good and clean and uh, we are ready for paint. So we're going to put two coats of primer on it and two coats of uh, hammerite paint. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, we'll see if it, the hammerite can take the heat. It says it can withstand uh, 80 degrees Celsius constantly and uh, a bit more for an hour so yeah so it's um, yeah just uh, hook the sling up in tree here and yeah. uh, this tag says 4j slash 77 I don't know if that means that this heat exchanger is from 1977, I don't know. Thought it, the engine was newer than that, but that does not really matter how old the engine is. As long as the engine is working fine. Um, it says 49, 13, and 5. I have no clue what it means. So yeah, now it's time for paint. This uh, surface up here is not going to be painted uh, because there's a lid going on here and I would just put some uh, non-seize lubrication on it. I'm going to paint about this far out on the hose barbs perhaps just here, I don't know, yeah, just past the treads I guess. And these surfaces that uh, is meant to have a gasket on them, it's not going to be painted. I'm not going to mask it because I'm going to paint it with paintbrush and if I get some paint on it, I will just uh, scrape it off with a knife when it's dry. So, yeah, these areas, I'm going to put paint on them and if I think it's a problem I'm gonna remove the paint where the washer sits and I put the engine back together but I think it's gonna be okay. Same with this hose barb, paint just past the treads and then this exhaust plug I'm just gonna leave in. I think this is for measuring uh, emissions if that's something you have to do. 
carburetting uh, diesel pump or something. And also this surface is not going to be painted, but uh, if, they get, if I get paint on it, I will just uh, remove the paint that's on the surface. So yeah. Give you a look when I put the primer on. So first coat is on. The primer. Looks rather good. So just gonna let this dry for a few hours and put on another coat. This is what the part looks like of the two coats of primer. Now we're ready to put on the first coat of paint. So this is what the pot looks like after one coat of paint. I'm not completely satisfied with this result because the brush was the same brush that I had used for the primer. Just clean it, but it kind of yeah, it, uh, it was ready for replacement. But uh, since this was the first coat I figured I, it would be good enough so this is what it looks like new brush and new uh, coat of paint and I think it's gonna be all good so here we have the final result of the heat exchanger refurbishing or what we should, what we should call it preventing it from rusting apart even further so it is being painted the paint that's gone on top of of these surfaces that will receive a gasket is uh, is going to be taken off so yeah so this is what it looks like so I think this is gonna be nice so Later tonight I will clean the heat exchanger tube and uh, I will uh, remove the paint residue on the edges, also on the back side here. There is a little bit inside this area that needs to come off and also around this edge and also around where the exhaust elbow is going to sit. Put the paint in this groove. This groove is actually supposed to be flush, <laughs> so this is just corroded away, I guess. That's what I think anyway, I don't really know, but yeah, and the, uh, the light rust color that's in here is not something I'm going to bother with, I've high pressure washed it, so the coolant, the coolant uh, will prevent stuff from rusting further. Inside of the engine it looks pretty much like this also, so I will just uh, run it with some good uh, coolant and um, keep an eye on what the coolant will look like. So perhaps draining the engine every once in a while and um, put a new one in or put the same one in if it looks good. So so that's, that's the way it's going to go. This is the exhaust. port or a manifold so yeah looks good so I decided to go with blue letters on the uh, on the um, heat exchanger originally this one is just no color on the on the letters I guess but I wanted to to make it a little bit different so I'm sitting here uh, preparing the heat exchanger for assembly and uh, I have to remove the paint that I've gotten on to to the surfaces which I don't want paint on so now I just use a razor blade and try to cut it all the way so this is what I'm sitting here doing. Nice work for an evening. <laughs> so yeah. 
course she needs some patience but it's never been a problem for me so I'm sure you these are uh, the exhaust uh, ports uh, this is how close uh, to perfect it gets with a razor blade and I take a um, sandpaper, fine grit sandpaper and, and uh, give it a scrub so yeah this is this is what it looks like before the sandpaper so I'm gonna continue and um, I'll give you a look when uh, when I rub the surfaces with the sandpaper so after sanding this is what the surface looks like and by doing it this way I get a rather sharp edge between the paint and the surface and that's what I'm looking for these surfaces will receive a cover of a coat of uh, some non uh, stick stuff, silvery paste of some kind, to um, prevent stuff from sticking really badly to it. So I will do that so I can take it apart and perhaps even reuse the gasket if that should be necessary. Now I'm on to doing these exhaust ports. So the procedure is just the same. Just take the sandpaper and rub off. All the remains of the paint. Without letting the sandpaper touch the painter's surfaces. enough and I'll continue with this one and this one and all the others so yeah so thank you for watching hope you liked the video please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time